Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to Mornings with Brian and Tyler. Today we're in Proverbs 17, 9 through 11. Tyler. He who covers a transgression seeks love, but he who repents a matter separates friends. Rebuke is more effective for a wise man than a hundred blows on a fool. An evil man seeks only rebellion, therefore a cruel messenger will be sent against him. All right. Uh, verse 9 you said, but one who... Repeats, sorry, not repeats. repeats. Okay. Uh, that yeah, makes, way more, makes way more sense. Yeah. All right. So, um, one who conceals or forgives an affront or an offense fosters friendship. Quit telling every bad thing you know. Quit telling any bad thing you know. No, everybody needs to know all the bad about everybody else. No, they don't. Nope. We know all kinds of bad stuff now about everybody in our society, and you know what the only thing we get out of it is? More bad. You know? Yeah. Whoever repeats offenses or disputes drives people apart. You say, well, I don't want to be at peace with him. Well, now you're... This forgiveness... Forgiveness allows you to put an end to the cycle of chaos. That's why you need to forgive. And once you forgive it, shut up about it. And say, well, people need to know I forgave. No, they don't. If, if it was between you and them, no one else needs to know that it even happened. You know, if I sin against Tyler or Tyler sins against me and we square it up before we leave the area, for the most part, that should be the end of it. Okay. Um, Ten, a rebuke strikes deeper into a discerning person than a hundred stripes to a fool. Yep. You look at someone with some sense and some godliness and you go... Dude, you are wrong. And this is why you're wrong. Yeah. Now do better. Man. But 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 a fool? What Proverbs calls a fool? You beat a fool a hundred times. And once the majority of the pain has worn off, they're back being a fool again. There is a place for corporal punishment. And definitely with a fool, give him the hundred stripes. Because it's guaranteed a word of rebuke isn't going to even be that effective for them. But a person who has some sense and some wisdom, if you address it to them straight up, without stupid little word games, yeah. So don't tell them that in the South is what you're telling me. Yeah. You know. And, uh, and then 11, evil people seek only rebellion, but a cruel messenger will be sent against them. Um, if you like to cause trouble, you like to cause rebellion, don't worry. Someone's coming against you that's going to kick your hind end. They're going to eat your lunch, and they're going to put you out on the edge of the field where there's nothing left for you. So start to seek peace. Now, what does this actually look like? Here's what it really looks like in the church. If you're the kind of person that won't seek peace um, in the church, when that cruel messenger comes, your inability to seek peace may very well cost your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, their souls. So get back on the road of peace. It sounds like what we looked at last night in Psalms, doesn't it, Tyler? Yes, sir. All right, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. Tell them when we'll see him again, Tyler. We'll see them this afternoon at 1230 and again this evening at 7 o'clock at the Lake Butler Church of Christ in Lake Butler, Florida, either on our live stream or in person at the Lake Butler Church Yeah, I said the Lake Butler Church of Christ. Yeah, Lake Butler Church of Christ in Florida. You did say that. Till then. Have a good day. morning.